interesting is happening on Twitter and that's why Bonaboy is trending. So apparently a you know a model who lives in London, uh, her name is Jopel, uh, came out to say that uh, you know she and Bonaboy were an item, you know, and they're an item before Stefan Dawn and you know he was still with her like two years I think in between uh, their relationship. But let's find out what people on Twitter are saying about the African giant. I mean he's a giant in every way. It's not just the African giant. So let's see what people are saying and this is from Lola Okuri. He says uh if it were to be Steph who cheated, uh you all will be dragging her for days but since it's Bona you people started uh, posting the picture of the lady he cheated with just to prove that he can't overcome such temptations. The girl is hot, yeah, 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 who she's cool. Well, you know how in this part of the world, uh, people, women cheat, is like, it's normal. You know, it's a man's word, then they can cheat. And then when a woman cheats, it's like, oh, she cheated, the whole world is gonna come down, all of that. I think that's what Lola Queen is, uh, is trying to make mention to. And it's true very very true we keep making excuses for men who cheat i mean to be faithful is it a one-sided thing or is it not supposed to be both sides let's see what uh blem blem has to say and it says bona boy uh called uh steph his wife and uh, now jopel is saying bona boy promised her marriage and twins uh do these girls not understand that nigerian men have sweet mouths their words are pointless Nothing is fine now until Nigerian man dies and leaves everything for you in a wheel. Like this is huge. This is so huge. Now how does someone say that nothing is fine now until Nigerian man dies and leaves you every and leaves everything for you in a wheel? Uh yes, I but I don't want I do not really want to believe that uh all Nigerian men are unfaithful. I think that we still have, you know, a good section of men who will never cheat on their wife or cheat on their babes or on they will never do that so i do not want to believe what uh blessing is saying uh this is from holy man says he says uh, so bonner boy was cheating on this teflon done with this jopel uh only a king can pull such stone i mean you guys need to check out who jopel is i mean who she is she is she is something ah, no, no, no. she does have the body I mean, so the body. Hmm. Well, to an extent, Stefan Donto has the body, but uh, you know, Jopel has the body bond, and maybe that's the reason why uh, Bonaboy cheated. But I, we can't justify the reasons for cheating, no matter what, because you will always find somebody who will always be, you know, a lot more than your partner. So why should that be an excuse? You know. But then, you know. Uh, Holy Man says that it's another win for the Yoruba Boys Association. Hmm. Yoruba Boys. You know how people keep talking about how Yoruba men like to cheat? I'm sorry. It's not like other tribes do not cheat, but they specifically mention them as the Yoruba demons. Like demons. But then, who are we to, you know, counter those claims in the scheme of things? Well, nobody but pencil in the hands of the Creator. But then we move to Jamal, and Jamal has something to say about Bonaboy's case, and he says, uh, "If Steph London leaves Bona because of Jopel's expose, I'll be somewhat disappointed. Uh, leaving your man, whom you've been building with, when he finally achieves success, leaving because another woman outed him. Come on, you can do better." Uh, you're a fighter manifest and he continues saying uh, the outsider exposed your man with the hope that you leave him uh, she has stated in no uncertain terms that she is in love with him it is obvious that she wants him are you telling me that you let her win like you're allowing someone run you streets just like that and you know I, I think I like this person's reply to Jamal and this is from Treasure saying if she wants to leave or stay it should be for reasons other than her winning the competition he's not impressed exactly I don't know why people always tend to speak about people who cheat and say oh uh, your man cheated on you so you should stay with him uh, you know I mean if you if you leave now you're making it you're, you're, you're making it look like uh, the other girl won He's not a prize. This is no form of competition or nothing. Uh, so why should you know a man 
or it might be like a prize really why should it be tagged as a prize why should women fight for him why should they fight to retain their free number one spot i don't get it i don't get it all right um away from Bona boy we're talking about ned Woko and you know so ned Woko is the man of the match i mean the man of the match i mean how do you marry a regina daniels and have other wives you know it's, it's a lot it takes a strong man to do that but then let's allow you see this video when we come back we'll discuss more on ned I, I i met her and i liked her we married within three weeks yes with the trees i married all my wives within some period um I, I i don't believe in dating anybody to marry them don't date anybody you want to marry marry them when you marry them you begin to fall in love from within the marriage you know even in our, my own culture as it were as a kid in the 60s people they were not dating they would they would marry in, in arranged marriages family to family they, they choose a wife and then most girls were expected to be virgins when they get married. And uh, they build a family from there. And because they didn't know each other before they got married, there's they a lot of excitement, a lot of learning to, to, to do. And, um, but Regina and I is a story that is interesting because before I met her, I didn't know about her. I don't watch movies, never watch movies. Um, I met her the first time when she came to my house with her mother and her siblings to because my, my place in Delta is a tourist place. They came to look around and uh, I, I, I liked her and, and that was it, you know. So whether I marry another wife or not, is, uh, it, uh, she knows it can happen. Um, I come from a very polygamous environment myself. Um, I love children, so I want more children, and she knows this, and my other wives, they also know it, so we'll see what happens in the future. All right, welcome back, and that was Ned, hmm, Ned, our very own darling Ned Moko. Well, he just spoke about him, uh, you know, he doesn't waste time in dating women like really you know why would you waste your time dating women you see a fresh tomato you tell you know the family that you have seen a very fine ripe tomato so it's time for you to marry that tomato off uh, that's how Ned says he does his I mean he's been doing it I mean he grew up like that so why should he change right now and what you guys think about it? Do you do you agree with Ned Woko? Uh, would you date then marry, or would you just see someone and just marry the person off and then start to discover who the person is? I think it's a two-way street. For some people, uh, I think this would work for them. Uh, you know, they would meet someone not too long and then they would get married to the person, and everything would just keep working like that. We've seen people that just maybe. You know met themselves in one month they got married and you know they have the best of marriages we've seen people uh who you know stayed for a long time maybe did it for like two years they got married and you know it was good for them and then we've seen people who just married married you know someone in in two weeks or three weeks and they are regretting that they married those people same way is a vice versa type of situation so now it works for nerd you know might not really work for you Plus, we need to also frame it that Ned is a man with money. And you know what they say money does? The money makes the world go round. So, I mean, there is money there. One of the major problems that we have in the world right now is lack of money. The fact that people feel so, you know, they don't have money. And that's one of the reasons why they feel like uh, they cannot afford some certain things. And that's why some marriages really, you know, are going through a lot. Because uh, your wife asks for money. There is no money for the man. He feels like he's so incapacitated and he cannot afford to, you know, pay for some certain things. So it's a lot in the pockets of, you know, both the man and both the woman. But then let's see what other people think of what Ned just said on Twitter. And this is from D-Baby. She says, uh, cheating is for weak guys. Real men marry them one after the other, like Regina Daniels' husband. 
then walk or, and you know before we came back i was just asking my colleague maybe she would like to be like wife number seven to ned and she's like she she hopes he would find her one time on the road who knows you know <laughs> all right this is from mr west he says uh women who take uh things like this from any man as women who take different things from any man as long as he's wealthy we've seen all example from Ned Wuko. Wow. Uh we were saying that. Well so next thing, like I said, money makes the world go round. So you know, when you have money, people might just not want to, you know, put some words and you know just be their real self because money will just make things just go easy. You know when there is money you don't have a lot of quarrels, there's no so much fights and all of that. So who knows? Uh, this is from J A Asuko it says on uh, Ned Wuko sounding like he did regina daniels a favor marrying her a whole spec like regina well take it or leave it it's like he did her a favor i mean three weeks you met you in three weeks started to talk to your family and then you're married off i mean it feels like a favor <laughs> what do you think because he just said that uh, regina can literally not stop him from getting another wife so it's like for him you know catch them as you want to catch them keep catching them you know it's a it's a merry-go-round season you know i'm not a one man's husband i am everybody's husband so why can't they have a piece of the pie that's what he's saying and uh, this is um k vault he says anytime i remember that ned who said i sought her out and examined her to be sure she was a virgin and i was pleased i just bought <laughs> i remember what he's talking about and that was a video that's released online where uh, Ned Walker was basically saying that he marries all his wives are virgins, he never marries a non virgins. I don't know how important that is to the viewing public, but that's what he said. And uh, this one is from Uchenna it says, If you want to marry any woman, don't date her, you can begin to love her within the marriage. Ned Walker uh, is saying that Twitter for her takes over to you. Well, it's nerd season, so you, you never can tell. But these days now, I really want to find out, are women really very open to sharing their husbands? I mean, if you're a woman out there, let me know in the comment section. Are you open to sharing your husband? Maybe, you know, you, you know other ladies can have him too. So it's a community, you know, I don't want to say the word, but it goes around like that. Let me know in the comment section and I say, man, what do you think? Uh, would you meet a girl in three weeks and then marry her? Or would you want to take your time and date then get to understand that? Do you believe what Ned Walker is saying that uh, you marry people then get to study them or get to understand the kind of person they are in the marriage? Or you rather find out who this person is before you now say, okay, I think I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. Let me know in the comment section. All right, we're moving on to Ikego, you know, like he likes to call himself. That's Ikeonjima, former uh, Big Brother Ninja housemate, and he has something interesting to say. Today seems to be about men and cheating. I don't know what's going on in the world, but uh, let's find out what Ike has to say. And he says, uh, all African men are loyal. Just have to, just have to know who they are loyal to. Well, all African men are loyal. Do you agree with him? Are all African men really loyal and you just have to know who they are loyal to? Hmm. Well, let's find out what people are saying about what EK mentioned. And uh, this is from J Boy 86 says, We, the African Men Association, humbly appreciate you, even though we are shocked. <laughs> I mean, it's shockable because really, are uh, all African men really loyal? It's a very big question. Are they really loyal? It depends on what EK means. And uh, this is from I am Starflex, and this is from a man. And he says, uh, Not all African men are loyal. I be man, so make we they talk true, bro. Well, talking about how your gender will always embarrass you. He just came out and said, Not all African men are loyal. So take it like that from him. And uh, this is from um, I am Docas EB says, uh, Now boys go comment past. So the men with the lawyer, they know who comment, right? <laughs> this is very funny. And you know, it goes on like that. But you know, Ike has his reasons for what he says. But moving away from Ike, let's find out what uh, economist Nora Stone has to say about people who earn 20k. 
I mean, it's about to end 20,000 naira. It's not bad now. In this, you know, period of recession that uh, we're going through, I mean, some people no longer have jobs anymore. So if you have a job that is paying you 20k, I mean, you should be excited and glad. But let's find out what she really means means by uh, if you're earning 20k. So, 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 so. Let's find out. And Nora Stone says, uh, first of all, all of you earning uh, 20k per month, I don't think you have any business thinking about relationships or even going on dates. None at all for any reason. Yes, my point. I'm saying that people have personal responsibilities and this includes family bills and all of that and relationship as much as we try to deny it comes with a whole lot of commitment and sacrifices which of course includes finance which is important uh, now imagine earning that and having to juggle in between these responsibilities and your relationship it will never really turn out to be how you sincerely want it but hey, uh, this thing doesn't have a manual, so it's okay to do you. And this is for both gender. So what do you think? If you're earning 20k, should you really be going to a relationship? Or should you just day your day? <laughs> because it's really important. If you think about it really, what would 20k do for you? I mean, people ask this question a lot <laughs> on social media. You know, when they want to run their giveaways, they're like, tell us what 5k will do for you, tell us what 20k will do for you. So the question is, what will 20k do for you in a relationship? Yeah, because uh, life is pretty much hard as it is, so hard. And then imagine having to be in a relationship where, uh, you know, to an extent, I mean, you want a girl who is um, financially buoyant, maybe able to take care of her own expenses and does not necessarily have to depend on you but still on still you know baby girls like to be taken care of you know girls like to be taken care of women like to be taken care of so imagine she asks you for money for uh let's say as little as okay i just want to do my hair you're not buying bone straight though you're just doing hair and you know to make you know to make hair these days we know how much it is you know if you don't even have like five thousand there uh you might have to struggle a little while for you know to make your hair and she asks you for five thousand and imagine taking out five thousand out of your twenty thousand come on i mean it's even bigger than your 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 actual tights think of it uh the question is would you really want to be in a relationship like that i, I sort of agree with her to an extent but then i think that you know <laughs> let people do themselves really too because you know there's no manual to telling people what to do and what not to do in relationships you know there's this saying that goes that says that at every level of your life you date people according to you date the people that you can literally afford when i mean afford i'm not saying money tree wise but uh if you if you look around a guy that is in 20 k will probably choose the girl who he thinks uh would be okay with his standard of life it's how it is so the more you grow in life you most likely would you know keep meeting people within your budget if we can say something like that but then let's take what people think about this whole 20k thingy and this is from Giselle who says make her hear what I beg hmm. so many workers no get relationship or rishi rishi relationship advice just date within your means and level it's the same thing I just said for every level that a person gets to they get to date people within that level like if you earn 20k you you find the 20k babe that will definitely be you know okay with how much you can offer if you're earning 10k you find a 10k babe well you can't be dating 20 you can't have a 20k and looking for a babe of 250k it's not possible I mean if she gives you bills will you be able to pay these are the things because when you when you when you want these things now this is the reason why a lot of people will start to say that uh women are selfish women are this because you will not cut your clothes according to your material you won't be joining your neighbor's material it's not possible you can't be uh, earning 20k i'm looking for someone who's going to tell you to buy bone straight or 270k it does not work i mean it doesn't work all right this one is from shown dreams and he says uh, she has a point though but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have a girlfriend uh thank god i earned 22,500 naira uh, so i'm qualified uh, this guy is just chasing clouds but we get it we get it and uh, this is from tony day for you he says these people have only one advice advice points always about relationship now they tire 
no one is motivating us about how to be innovative in skill acquisition and personal development well it is what it is and this is from osa Terry. it says you can date someone of your kind or league irrespective of your earnings and it's exactly the same point i was trying to make uh you date according to your budget simple and short uh this is from everything uh jello Elo says that but how honestly how do you, you want to love someone if you don't have money <laughs> if you don't have money how do you want to love someone you know even a popular artist the video said it in his music like you know when money entered love love becomes sweeter so if you don't have money how do you want to really you know how do you really want to love someone without no money uh this one is from zimorali says so because of 20k i won't love uh, you know stupid entitlement in this country assumptions are your own thought no you guys are not getting the point exactly if you're going to earn 20k and you want love dates within your means chicken now nah, there's no story that's what it means you can't be earning 20k and living for a babe of 50k they don't rhyme they do not correlate in no form at all and uh, this is from pens o pens o verified how much them they pay your papa before you marry your mama <laughs> No, no, don't take it too deep. Uh, but this, let me not sound like it's just towards a particular gender. So, for a woman, too, you should be earning. I mean, the question is, do you like yourself when you are broke? I think that should be the question everybody should ask themselves. When you are broke, when you don't have money, do you like yourself? Are you happy with yourself when you don't have money? So then, why do you want to make someone's child sad when they are with you? Because you don't have money. It's not, it's not a hard question to answer. So if you know that you don't like yourself when you're broke, there's no need for you to, you know, put someone's child in that level as you. But then I think that that's all I can take on this whole 20k saga. Uh, for you to find out more, you can go on our website www.vangadengr.com and you can equally uh, like, share and subscribe on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. Till I come away next time, I remain Precious Chukudi and uh, thank you for joining me on Training Issues uh, and thank you for watching. Bye.